morning everyone happy monday welcome to another weekly vlog so last week's vlog was a bit of a mammoth one admittedly i think i probably need to make them a tad shorter because i think that was about 39 minutes long and i don't think i'm interesting enough to fill up 39 minutes of your life so i'm gonna try and make this one a little bit shorter but anyway i have a relatively varied week i'm not really sure what's going on this week but i did want to start this week's vlog on a good note so i thought i'd show you a delivery that i got that has pretty much made my year now i don't know if you know but obviously i am dairy free i don't eat any dairy and that involves not eating ice cream chocolate and ben and jerry's um, which I know is a mix between the two and anyway they brought out a non-dairy version in the US about a year ago I didn't realize it was just US based and so I'd been searching for it for ages and then discovered they hadn't launched it in the UK yet anyway they have now launched it in the UK which is extremely exciting and they've actually sent me I mean this is empty but they've sent me um, some vouchers to go and try it out. And they've also really kindly sent me a Ben and Jerry's dairy free t-shirt, which I'm sure I will be sporting very soon. So I am probably going to go and seek out wherever I can get some non-dairy ice cream. I really want to try the peanut butter and the chocolate brownie flavors, but I'm sure they're all gonna be amazing. So um, yes, that is, my week's mission i really want to try the non-dairy ben and jerry's today i've just had an admin day i've been doing bits and bobs i've launched the new jodie bell scarlet london collaboration clothing collection instagram so i'll leave that in the description box if you want to go and check that out i've got lots of lovely friends and bloggers who've been wearing the collection and i'm posting all of the pictures there instead of spamming my own instagram feed um so please do check that out. It's now available for pre-order and all of the dresses will be made when you order it. So it's quite incredible to think that they are basically going to be made for you when you order them. Um, I'm really excited to see lots of you in the dresses. So do let me know if you order anything. We're actually going to visit one of David's friends today. They've just had a baby, they had it last week. So we're gonna go and give them a present and say hi and go and have a little look at their new baby. So that's the plan for this week. Hopefully it will be an interesting vlog. Thank you very much for coming back. Hopefully you enjoy seeing what I get up to in a week. So I will take you with me. Every day too. <laughs> Can you turn the music off just a sec, please? Look what I found in Tesco's. We may have driven a good half an hour for this, but I'm sure it will be worth it. So this is really unflattering lighting, I know, but we drove for about half an hour so that I could find the fudge brownie non-dairy Ben and Jerry's and it was well worth the journey. In fact, I even asked in Tesco whether we could have a plastic spoon because I couldn't wait until we got home and it is so good. And I thought I'd had enough by the time I got home but I'm still eating it and I'm about half, half a pot down. So um, it's safe to say that it was well worth the year long wait to bring it from the US to the UK. So um, Ben and Jerry's, you've done a very good job with this. And I'm so excited I get to enjoy Ben and Jerry's as well. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. Please excuse my appearance right now. I look like I belong in 2005 with my side ponytail and my little drapey bits of hair. But I just wanted to quickly update you because today definitely hasn't been very interesting at all. Um, I've spent the entire day doing redoing my blog because i really wanted to jazz it up and have something to make myself blog more basically because i've really been slacking in that and my blog was my first thing i ever did it's the thing that i love writing is my passion um 
so I've redesigned all of that and I had some help from the lovely Pip Dig who I would recommend in a heartbeat if you're looking for a blog update or a blog redesign. Um, it's so easy and he even spotted because I tried to upload it myself and he spotted that I um, that my site wasn't working because I've got a really weird server and anything that you do it corrupts it and my site was completely inactive. This is really boring conversation I know but anyway it's done which is the good news and I'm really really pleased. I've been spending the day basically doing lots of new blog posts so I'll give you a bit of a sneak preview but if you do fancy checking it out I will leave a link down below. I think there's actually one in there already. Um, I'm pouring lots of effort into that and there'll be really some really exciting content coming up soon so I'll just show you that quickly and also my collection for Jodie Bell has also gone live so that's very exciting I'm on their home page and it looks really cool and lots of you are Instagramming and tweeting me with pictures of you wearing the dresses from the event on Saturday so I'm going to show you both of those things now and you won't have to look at this very strange hairdo any longer. My eyes look so red, which is really scary because I've just been staring at the computer all day. And that is what staring at a computer all day, the, the brightness of the screen is probably up way too much. That is what it does to your eyes. It's not good, is it? Anyway, I'm gonna show you it. So this is my new blog design and you scroll down and we've got all of the posts up here, which is really cool. My Instagram feed, more posts. As you can see, these are like in August and July. I really haven't been very active on here, but I've also got my YouTube videos because that's what I've been focusing on mostly over the coming, over the past few months, which is why that's been more active. And then some of my favorite bits, which I'll be updating. Some of my favorite sort of finds and clothing haul wish list bits and then down here we have loads of my Instagram pictures too so I'm really really loving this and also it looks so cool if you go on one of the posts as well let me find a good one so this one's a pretty good one this is the L'Oreal post so it looks really really cool because um my computer's so slow at the moment but I've basically, it takes such a long time to code all of the pictures in this way, honestly, you wouldn't believe it. But I think the final result is really, really cool, especially on a computer. So I'm really pleased with that. And then this is the Jodie Bell website, which has got my new clothing collection on it. And it's got all of the pictures here. All of the dresses and accessories are now available to pre-order. So if you did fancy going and having a look at anything, I am sure I'll link it down below. But I'm really, really pleased. We've got some more bits coming out soon and I'm really excited to hear what you guys think all about it. Now, is this not the best that you've ever seen me look? Because it's definitely the best I've felt. Um, yeah, so as you can probably see, I am having a little pampering session this morning. I've got my Glam Glow Power Rangers Gold Peel Off Face Mask on, which hasn't quite got to the peely stage, I don't think. Um, I'm not feeling as much of a Power Ranger as I thought I would, but there is a green one and I think I probably will try that next because it will make you feel a little bit more metallic. And then I've also got a Star Skin nose strip on which I use quite regularly and it's a three step system and it's amazing for removing blackheads. So that is what I'm doing, I'm just tackling some emails, writing some blog posts, and tidying the house whilst looking like this. I've just had a chicken katsu curry for lunch, um, which was such a treat, and I'm feeling I'm feeling really good right now. So um, yeah, it's just a little Wednesday update for you. Hello, good morning, and welcome 
to Thursday. So I don't know, I don't think I have said good morning to you already, but I've kind of lost track of where I am in the day. It's only, oh, it's one o'clock actually, but it's been a fairly productive day so far. I, I don't know whether I was wearing this yesterday. I can't really remember, but I have washed it. I washed it last night and I've already spilt apple and kale juice down it. I don't know whether you can see, but there's a big green slimy line which is great. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a few bits that popped through the post this morning because it seems to have been a delivery day today, which is great. And one delivery in particular has excited me massively because I've always wanted one of these things. But anyway, let me show you it. So basically, Lee Stafford have sent me the new minis of their Coco Loco range. You will have probably heard me talk about these before because I do absolutely love them and they obviously now come in travel edition which is great if you're going on a little weekend break and you don't want to take your big bottle with you but they've also sent me which i haven't opened yet but i do know what it is because i was given a lovely note that explains the package but i wanted to open it on camera because i am honestly so excited about this they came it came with a little ribbon and a coco loco sticker on the front and it's all wrapped up and I can't believe I own one of these now this is you know how I was talking the other day about how kind PRs are with their packages well this is a prime example of how kind they are so they've given me one of their Fujifilm Instax in Instax Mini 8 Instant Camera and it's a pink one and I've always, always, always wanted one of these. I know it's really silly but literally ever since I was a kid I have been wanting an instant camera, Polaroid camera, whatever you want to call it and they've always been really expensive and then you have to buy the films as well so I've just never really bought one but always wanted one and now I have one and they said that they wanted me to take a picture so I will do that in a bit and then they've also sent me a little mini card size film so I am so excited to try these and thank you so so much Lee Stafford for making my absolute week with this what a kind delivery and the Coco Loco minis as well because I'm going away in a few weeks time and I've actually run out of all my travel size shampoos because I took them all on my New York and Cyprus trips. So thank you, that has made my week. Some other very exciting deliveries, which I kind of want to wait to show you around Christmas time because I'm going to be doing Vlogmas this year, which I am extremely excited about. Um, I've got it all planned out and I can't wait for you to see what I have in store but I'm going to as part of that be doing some festive gift guides and some festive inspiration for things you should do to get in the festive spirit how many times can I say festive um, so I am sort of collating lots of products to use in my gift guides and these next two products are going to be in that but I kind of feel like it's too exciting to show you. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you. These are the new Yankee Candles. Well, there's two out of four, I think, um, of the new Yankee Candle Christmas range. I think scents are one of the main things I love about Christmas because you've got cinnamon, baking, like warm, cozy scents. And yeah, it's just, I love getting all cozy and in the kind of Christmas, festivities spirit so I picked two of them and these are obviously the large size um, but you can and will be able to get them in the mini sizes as well as far as I know these are new flavors but I may be wrong but I am a massive Yankee Candle fan so I feel like I would have come across these before because sometimes I just go in there to have a good old sniff but anyway so the first one I've got is called crackling wood fire and it just smells amazing. It's really kind of smoky. Um, it's got a kind of... I keep sort of cracking my nose on the glass. I can't really explain it, but it just smells quite woody and um, kind of like pine cones. That's what it smells like. 
it's just really really festive and cozy and yeah I feel like a real wood fire is not something that we're ever gonna have in this house because it's obviously a new build so this is pretty much the closest we're gonna get but it's amazing and I don't mind at all and I love that it's a kind of grey candle as well because it fits with our home colour scheme so I'm gonna pop this upstairs and um, we're gonna enjoy burning this one. And then the other one is probably my favorite, although I don't think I could choose between the two actually. And it is Spite, oh my God, I can't even speak today. Spite, Spiced White Cocoa, which is essentially like a kind of white chocolate and cinnamony scent, I suppose. It does smell like chocolate, sprinkles chocolate flakes but then also that kind of warm hot chocolate scent as well so it is just really really nice and it's one of those lovely sweet delicious scents but it's not sickly it's it's not something that you'll easily tire of which is good especially if you buy the big version because obviously um, it's got a lot of burning hours in there. So anyway, that was two of my very kind deliveries today. I just wanted to show you those things. And um, yeah, you'll be seeing the candles anyway pop up in my Vlogmas festive gift guide very soon. But anyway, I am probably going to film a video. I'm actually getting my dad to put up a shelf behind me on Sunday. So hopefully this will be my new filming setup because I'm kind of getting a, a bit bored of the one upstairs. Um, it's not very exciting and I also feel like it's really formal having to sit there and I get really like hot and flustered because I know that I'm in a formal filming situation. So I feel like maybe this will be my new filming setup and um, provide a bit of variety. But anyway, I'm doing haul week next week, so this week when you're watching it. So I need to do two more online shops for that, and then I need to film the first haul week. So I have a busy few hours ahead, but I just wanted to show you those bits really quickly and uh, waffle on and stall it. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that tonight, I am going for a meeting locally with a restaurant event space about my birthday party because I really want to do a big birthday party this year. It's not like a big birthday or anything. How old am I? 24. I'll be 24. Um, but I, I don't know whether I've spoken about this before, but I always have really crap birthdays. Like my actual birthday just goes wrong every single year. So like last year I thought I will, you know, not tempt fate and I will make it good by going to Disneyland Paris because let's face it, you're not gonna have a bad day when you go to Disneyland Paris. Oh yes, I had a bad day. It was the only bad day when I was there and it was my actual birthday. Basically everything went wrong. I sprained my ankle and fell over in front of hundreds of people in a busy restaurant for my birthday meal. Really hurt myself and just burst into tears. All of the rides were closed. It was freezing and raining. Um, none of the, anyway, I'm not gonna go into depth, but it went wrong. The year before, what happened the year before? I can't remember. I've kind of blanked it out. But anyway, it goes wrong every year. So this year, on my actual birthday, I want to just get all of my family together and have a big party. Luckily it's actually on a Saturday, so it should work out quite well. Um, but yeah, we're going for a meeting with a venue about that later. So I was gonna say goodbye and now I'm waffling on and I've been talking for 10 minutes, so I'm so sorry and I'll see you soon. So I almost completely forgot to show you as well. Some amazing deliveries from Juicy Couture arrived. Um, the other day containing three of their new bags from their bag collection. Now, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't expecting much because I don't think the pictures do the bags justice, but in person they are amazing and I absolutely love them. They're so up my street. Juicy Couture is one of those brands that I always loved when I was younger and um, Obviously, we all wanted, the fantasy was to have a Juicy Couture tracksuit. I never actually made it to own one, 
but I feel like I'm making up for it now with the handbag. So I'm gonna show you quickly. You'll probably see these popping up on my Instagram sometime soon. But as I said, I'm really, really impressed with them. And I feel like because they're all greys and blacks, they're really gonna go with my autumn wardrobe. So I'm gonna stop waffling and show you. So the first bag that I got is this gorgeous gray muted tote bag. And it's actually really big. I don't know if you can see, no, you can see. In comparison to my head, it's pretty big. Um, but it is so, so gorgeous. And this is the perfect size to carry my laptop. So I always struggle when I'm traveling and wanting to carry my laptop in a bag that isn't gonna damage it. Um, Cause my laptop is the MacBook Pro and it's massive. None of my bags fit in, but this fits perfectly. And it's obviously giant. It's got a great big, open space for you to fill with your life but then it's also got this removable bit in the middle so you can zip up and lock away anything that you don't um kind of want on display so it's really really good and you it's also got these poppers so you can make it a little bit smaller and a little bit more secure and it's just a really gorgeous bag i don't think it's showing up on camera quite how beautiful it is and how high quality it is but I am super impressed with that one. And then the other two bags from Juicy Couture I got were smaller bags, but equally as lovely. So the first one is this black bucket bag, which um, admittedly it doesn't look like much because I haven't got anything in it, but it's got the softest, most luxurious looking material. Um, and it's got a really lovely shoulder strap. Ooh which I love because I just think these kind of bags are so great if you're going out and about shopping during the day and you want to take a few bits but you don't want to be weighing everything down because inevitably you will have loads of shopping bags by the end of the day so you don't want a massive great handbag. So that is perfect and this one is their Melrose Black Duffel Bag and it's £69 and it's absolutely beautiful and it's obviously got this bit where you can secure your bag or open it up um, and it's got lots of room in there it's actually a TARDIS and then finally we have this really cute little grey backpack from Juicy Couture it's got three separate compartments and then some really comfy shoulder straps obviously I haven't opened these up yet but um, it's actually quite mini size but it fits a lot in it's deceptively spacious um, and it's got the contrasting black zipper detailing. So I am really, really excited. Honestly, that's so generous of them to send all of those over. And um, I will be styling those up with my new autumn pieces. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to showing them to you. Thank you so much to Juicy Couture for sending me them. It's such a treat to receive one bag, let alone three. So um, yeah. I just wanted to show you them before I forgot and took them upstairs and got overexcited and displayed them in my wardrobe. So yes, I hope you like them as much as I do. Good morning, so it's Friday and I've spent the morning filming two videos. So I'm filming one with this very lovely watch which connects to your phone and basically acts like a personal assistant. So it reminds me to drink water and lots of other lovely things, including what I'm doing today. And the plan for the day is to go and meet a fellow local blogger. Now, I can't remember how much I've revealed of this online, but I we moved to a new area about a year ago. It's been such a crazy year. We've basically been getting the house sorted and hopefully by this weekend, we should have it all sorted. Um, so I haven't really had a chance to socialize and, and meet other local people. So I'm really excited to go and meet her. I need to set off in about half an hour actually. Um, so I'm just getting through a few emails, filming the rest of my video because next week is haul week. So every single day I'm going to be posting a haul on my channel. I'm trying lots of different setups. So hopefully I can find one that works for me. My eyes look really blue today, which is strange because they're not that green. But anyway, so it should be a really varied day. I'm wearing this gorgeous jumper that Avon sent me to film the um, Avon Future Watch video. And it is so soft and flattering. Honestly, it's the most gorgeous jumper. 
my camera's going out of focus but it's so so pretty and it's got this really lovely um I don't know what this is called but really lovely pattern down the front of it and they also sent me this lipstick which I tried to look on the little lipstick tube is that how you say it um I tried to look and see what it was called but it was just called red so if I do find out what it's called I'll let you know but I really really like it I feel like it's the perfect combination between pink and red it's not too like in your face red but it's also not too girly pink either um and i've also tried really hard with my eye makeup today <laughs> i've been using the charlotte tilbury palette again and i feel like i'm finally getting the hang of it but i don't know if this is just me but i seem to be using up my palette so much like normally my eyeshadows last me years this one i feel like i'm almost about to hit the bottom of the eyeshadow thing so um yeah does anyone else find that or am i just using way too much i'm not really sure but anyway i'm gonna get on with a few emails and then i think we're gonna head to zz's good old zz's for a bit of lunch and a chat so i'll see you in a little bit <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Saturday. So today we've actually got a rather quiet chill day but we are going i basically booked us into a spa which sounds like the best thing right now because it's been a relatively stressful week the house is a mess wow this isn't good lighting um and yeah it's just quite nice to have one of those days where you unwind and um chill out and indulge in swanning around in a fluffy white robe so i am very excited for that we're going to a spa called the bedford lodge um which ironically isn't in bedford it's in a place called newmarket i think in suffolk so it's not too far away um but it should be a really lovely day and then what are we doing tomorrow tomorrow we are building lots of furniture and hopefully getting the house completely sorted which I can't wait for so I haven't put any makeup on today I haven't done my hair as you can probably tell but I just thought I don't really want one of the kind of spa therapists to have to take all my makeup off and it's quite nice just to not wear it to be honest my lips are so swollen today because I have um like ulcers all around um inside my lip and one of them you can see when i talk so it's really annoying luckily i've got nothing where i need to kind of be talking to somebody um but i just get ulcers it's one of those things i, I never get cold sores but i always get ulcers and um it's difficult to eat it's difficult to like drink hot things and my lips swell up so it literally looks like i have <laughs> lip fillers in my bottom lip at the moment um which i don't but anyway i am gonna get my swimming stuff ready because hopefully there's a pool there i imagine there is and head on off to the spa oh and i might stop at home sense on the way because actually here which at the moment is like a blank alcove in my office i really want to well i bought shelving shelving units i bought a book shelf bookcase wow I'm really not switched on today um i've bought something to go in there so that hopefully i can use this as a filming background and have some bits in the background so we shall see about that my dad's going to come around tomorrow and build all of the furniture that we've bought including a bathroom cabinet which is very exciting because at the moment it's all in boxes and messy so just a little update on my life this weekend i'm sure you've uh I'm sure you really feel fulfilled now that um, you know everything about my weekend. But anyway, I'm sure we'll take you to the spa and I shall see you in a little bit. So 
we have arrived at the spa. We're just going to check in. We're gonna have some lunch and then we've got our treatments at about 3 p.m. which I am very excited for. <laughs> face again it's really quite unflattering in this lighting um, but we just arrived we've sat down in the little lounge area and we've ordered some really lovely healthy food they've got an amazing menu of really delicious sounding healthy stuff including hummus and the all-important guacamole so we're just gonna wait for that to arrive and then we'll get into our robes and chill out which I'm very excited about night we had the loveliest time at the spa i will fill you in more about it later but for now we've got back we've got a really nice thai takeaway from our favorite place and we're about to sit down and watch a film so yeah the perfect saturday night So please excuse my face right now and also if you can hear drilling upstairs it's because we are building lots of furniture. I say we, David and my dad are and they have built me my little bookcase which is behind me and hopefully I'm going to be able to film lots more here which should be really nice. Um, so we've just literally had a day at home, it's not even late at the moment, it's about 3 or 4 p.m. but I thought I'd just end the vlog here because there's nothing else that exciting going to be happening today and also I just wanted to fill you in a little bit about yesterday because it was kind of a rush getting home eating dinner and then going to bed um because when you have massages you're so so tired um but we had the best day yesterday honestly it was definitely what we needed and the bedford lodge spa is honestly one of the nicest that i've ever been to and i without sounding really braggy i have been to so many spas all over the world um especially when i worked in journalism i got to travel quite a bit and review lots of spas which was a, a lovely perk of the job don't get me wrong but this was honestly one of my favorites and the massage was incredible it wasn't it wasn't one that sent me to sleep which was nice because i could actually enjoy it it was a really uplifting um rejuvenating just really like a perfect massage basically sorry that is drilling um so i came away feeling like a new woman without sounding cliche and there were so many other things to do in the spa, like the steam rooms, the amazing amazing hydrotherapy pool, there was a relaxation area, everything was just done so well. And the colour scheme was like all these greys and muted purples and really relaxing. So I feel like sometimes spas get it a little bit wrong. They go for like all bright white, which can feel a bit a bit like a hospital. Um, I have to say I've been to a few spas and it hasn't put me in the relaxing mood. This one just got everything right. So I will link it down below in case you fancy checking it out for yourself. I will definitely be booking another trip back there because it was about an hour's drive away from us um, but it was well worth it and 
I would go back in a heartbeat. It's so, so beautiful. You probably saw some of my pictures on Twitter and Instagram and it was just gorgeous. So I would highly recommend that. I also, I don't think I told you about the other day when I met another local blogger. Um, she runs a blog called The Ginger Mum and I will link all her details below as well. She, we only actually found out that we lived locally recently, which was really nice because it means that I've got someone in the area finally who gets what it means to blog full time and we can hopefully collaborate and work together and meet up because blogging as amazing as it is can get quite lonely sometimes so hopefully that is the start of a new friendship with a local blogger so yeah that's just been my week it's been quite quiet this week next week is going to be very very busy because not only is it haul week on my channel so i figured because it was the first part of october it would be a really cool time to showcase all of the new autumn winter new in stuff on all of the websites and high street so I'm basically going to be doing that every day. I am going into London tomorrow to do a variety of things. Um, so it should be very jam-packed. Oh, I've also got a local bloggers meetup. So talking of local bloggers, there will be a few more who, and we're all going to get together at ZZ's near us and just have a really lovely meal and blogger time, basically. Um, I feel like when you meet other bloggers you automatically have something in common and something to chat about so it's really really nice so yes thank you so much for watching I'm sorry this week hasn't been mega exciting potentially next week I'll be doing more of a house tour because the house is almost finished we're getting there so that is something to look forward to but until then thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next week